If you're a wine lover, then the perfect day trip from Novi Sad is to come here to Sremsi Kalovsi. This town is infamous in the Vojvodina province and it's only located about a 15 minute drive from Novi Sad. I'm gonna introduce you to some wines, some rakia, and some traditional cakes. And an awesome fact about this place is that Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius came here in the year 273 and planted the first vines. Now let's try some rakia. Here we are at our first stop of the day and Jovana, the owner of the Matchbox Museum, prepared for us a traditional Serbian breakfast paired with wines and rakia. The Match Museum is an exhibit made up of vintage Max boxes from all over the world. Her stepmother started it many years ago and she continued the tradition. Her winery is called Benišik Beslinovic and we're going to try some of her wines today. So right here we have one of their specialties, rakia made out of walnuts. Who ever thought you could make rakia out of walnut? All right, let's try it. it. Smells fantastic. Wow, and so light. A bottle like this will run you 10 euros. It's definitely worth it because it's something very unique here in Serbia. So when you visit the Match Museum, if you're interested in having wine tasting accompanied by food, just like we had today, it costs 500 dinar per person. Traditional breakfast or lunch with three different wines, four different rakias. And if you didn't know, Giovanna is an accomplished artist here and she's turning a piece of the property into an art space. Giovanna, <laughs> Jibili! <laughs> <laughs> Our next stop is a place that everybody told me I couldn't miss. The Beekeeper Museum and the Jivonovic Family Winery. This family has been producing wines and honey since the 18th century and they're best known for their Probos and Tamianica. These are Serbian grapes only local to this land. Let's go inside. <laughs> Right here we have Probus, a hybrid grape that was developed here in Sremski Kalovsi. It has 14.4% alcohol, it's a very strong wine, but they tell me it's delicious. Let's try it. it smells fantastic. Wow, really good. Right here we have another wine that's only produced in Serbia. It's called Bermet. It's a very strong wine, has over 17% of alcohol. Let's give it a go. You could really taste the aromas of herbs, spices, and fruits. Like I told you earlier, this town is famous for some traditional cakes called kuglofs. They're made using Burmet wine, the wine that we tried today, the strongest one. And we're here at Gia's workshop. We're gonna see how she makes them and we're gonna try some. Let's do it. An hour and 15 minutes later and we get... Voila! So we got one to go, but we could not leave without tasting it. And this is a small portion. Mmm.
Meni lijeka nema, kijame se sprema. Meni lijeka nema, kijame... The best way to end the day here is to come up to the panorama spot and get incredible views of the town and the Danube River. Oh, you're